three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because today we're going to be making an ignition system for our homemade rocket. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna need for our ignition system is something to light the rocket. So here we have a match, just a regular old match, and I have a piece of wire and I separated one of the strands of the wire so that it's a bigger current up to the point of this. So this will get hot before everything else. So when this gets hot, it'll light the match. So I'm gonna show you how to make this in a minute, but I wanna first show you the rest of the ignition system. So this just has two wires coming off of it. Um, if you want, you can make them two different lengths so that they don't accidentally touch. Um, it's your preference. So now we have this wire here. So there's two alligator clips right here that are gonna clip onto the igniter. So let's do that. Okay, so we're just gonna clip on the right and the left side. These aren't necessarily positive and negative in this case, just because we're shorting this system anyways to light this. So I am going to go to the other end, which is a couple feet away, and we have a couple of barrel connections. So we could use an XT60 for this or anything you would like. So I do have an old battery here that I don't really care about breaking or shorting out. So I'm just gonna plug it in. You could put the next T60 here. I just have a couple of barrel connections and that'll work too. So we're just gonna plug this in. Just make sure that your alligator clips aren't touching because if they are, then that's not gonna be good for anybody. So just make sure that's not touching. So now that we have this system all plugged in, it should be super easy to light this rocket. All you gotta do is grab this switch right here and flip it. So in theory, this will work. And this is actually a great example of the wire going over the match is just too thin. So what I need to do is that when I build in the next one, I just need to leave more strands of wire since I have such small strands in the first place. So you could also use thicker wire for this and that would work too. So let's try another one and see how it goes. So the first thing you wanna do is cut a piece of wire about double the length of your match. So I'm using about a two inch long match. So I wanna cut a wire that's four inches long and I'm using 20 gauge wire. So really any size wire will work. It just depends on how many strands you leave that touches the match. So we'll talk about that more in a minute. So once we get our wire cut, we can strip both ends of the wire about and half of an inch of wire exposing on the ends, just to, enough to cook the alligator clips on. So after we do this, we want to expose our wire in the center. Okay, so it looks like that. So I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna separate this in half and then I'm gonna cut away the other half. So now that's done, we can twist this together. Make sure the wires are bonded nice and well. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna grab a blade or a serrated knife or something like this. And we wanna cut a slit in the top of the match. So this will just make it easier for it to ignite. So another great thing you can do is you can take a blade out of a hacksaw and you can cut your mark on the match. And I would really suggest this over a knife because it gives you a lot wider of a mark and it gives you a lot better chance of ignition. So a more reliable starter. And then we can take and we can wrap the wire along the top of the match. So I have a piece of electrical tape here. I'm gonna wrap it around the side of the match. So really any tape will do. So just like that, we have a working igniter. Let's test it out. So now we have the other end of the spectrum. And I think this is really cool. This is really cool to experiment and see if stuff works or not. So let's take off some of the strands so that it's a smaller wire and it'll be able to heat up enough to light the match. Okay, you know what they say, third time's the charm. Let's see what happens. Seriously. So I think it's really cool to do experiments like this to figure out what works and what doesn't. So if you're liking this video so far, please consider subscribing and let's get some more made for our rockets. So I don't know where the clip went for this, but what I did is I made a wider score in the top of the match using a hacksaw blade. And that fixed the problem and it ignited great after that. Okay, so I'm gonna go try one of these out while there's at least a little bit of daylight left. Let's go see. So as you saw guys, this didn't work. It ignited properly though, which is exciting. So I guess we learned a lot about fuses today, which is awesome. So if you guys like this video, please
three, two, one. Okay guys, I gotta say that was a win. I was actually thoroughly impressed. That was a pretty cool launch. I hope you guys um, saw that pretty good. You could even see like there was red glowing inside of the tube here. It's pretty sweet. So as you know in this episode, we've been making a lot of mistakes and learning a lot because of it. And that's a great thing to do. So the rockets I made in yesterday's video and tried to fire were made with real sugar that I ground up into fine powder sugar. So there's cornstarch in your powdered sugar. And I was trying to see if that was just an extra thing or it was actually necessary. And apparently it's necessary because as you saw yesterday, it wouldn't fire without it. So I just made this rocket from powdered sugar and it worked great. So just make sure you're using powdered sugar. Great experiment, but it's a bust. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad this um, turned out to be a success. I'm glad I got a successful firing. So hopefully tomorrow we can get some of these into rockets and we can launch them. So check out tomorrow's video, check out my channel, hit subscribe and hit ring that notification bell so you don't miss it. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. Bye.